Okay, I am making a crocheted pumpkin, and this is just some bulky weight size 5 yarn that I have left over, and it's really soft. I think it's going to make the perfect pumpkin. I am using a size J crochet hook. Mm -hmm. So I crocheted 22 chains, which is about 8 inches long. Okay. And then you're going to yarn over and you're going to uh, half double crochet in the third chain from the hook. You can do it from the front or the back like me, whereas the back bumps, I like to go into the back bumps and work in there. And there's their, a half double crochet. Now you're going to half double crochet all the way across. And then I'll show you how to make the rib stitch when we get back. Okay, here it is. It's about seven and three quarters of an inch. So somewhere in that range would be good for you to um, use that as a guide. You're going to chain two at the end of your row, yarn over, and you're going to go into the back loop only. So right here is your back loop because you have two chains and then the loop. So back loop only, half double crochet, yarn over, and go into all of the back loops with a half double crochet. Okay, so I wanted to show you at the end here. You might get confused about this, but um, when you see you have two stitches left here at the end, so this stitch actually belongs to this one, and there's a chain three here when you started. So you're just going to yarn over, and you're going to go under both of these strands of the chain three. So that's at the top of that chain three. And, whoops. and then you're just going to yarn over and pull through all three and that's how you're going to end your row and then the next row again you're going to chain two turn yarn over and go right in there in the back loop only on all of these stitches so continue until you have 20 rows Okay, so I ended up with 22, two, 22 rows, and how you're going to count the rows is by the ridges. So this is 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22. And you want to end with um, a, a ridge that's higher. So this one's lower, as you can see. So if no matter how many rows you do, just make sure that you have, you know, ending with this ridge right here. Okay, so the measurement turns out to be 11 and a half by 7 inches. So at the end here, you're just going to leave a super long tail. Like this one has a little short tail, but you want to leave a long tail because we're going to do a lot of sewing in. So all you're going to do is make it about 2 maybe three times wider than this. Go ahead and just cut cut your yarn. And then you have this long tail. And all you're gonna do is you're gonna take your yarn and put it on your needle like that. So I ended with this end and I'm just gonna go through that one stitch and tighten it up like that. So the first thing that you're going to do is you, you're going to want to um, weave this needle in and out of the bottom. So this will be the bottom of your pumpkin and you're making a running stitch. So you can join this all together and gather it. Okay, so I'm at my last running stitch. And then you're just going to pull this taut. So just pull it together as much as you can because it is thick. Then all you're going to do is join. Just go underneath at the beginning and just pull it together. Now because this is a bulky yarn, this end is going to be a little bit more open but what you're going to do is you're going to come back with your 
needle and you're just going to secure it together and close that hole. And then you're going to want to come back to the opening and close that part up. Now what we're going to do is we're just going to go up the side and we're going to sew this together till we get to the top. Okay, so you're going to go underneath the, the two strands right here. I know it's white on white and it's kind of hard to see, but just go through the two top strands of your stitch on that side. And on this side, you're going to go underneath the bottom one, the bottom one only. So can you see that? These are the two over here and one over here. And then again, you're gonna go under these two and under this one. These two and this one. So what you're going to do is you have this little tube or a little, almost like a beanie, right? It's an upside down beanie. Because if you want to make a beanie, this is how you make a beanie. <laughs> Same thing. Um, anyway, so you're going to take your fiber fill and you're going to fill that. And you just take your fiber fill and you're going to start to put some in there. And just fill it up. And it's, you know, whatever you like, but it's probably going to be some, a kind of a, a lot of stuffing going in there. It'll start to take shape once you put a bunch in there. And it's, see, like, how cute is that? Okay. I'm going to put a little bit more. Kind of push it in there and around. So it starts to push out to the sides because you want it a little flatter. And I think that's good. And at this point, what you're going to do is you're going to start to sew this up. And you're going to do again that same thing you did before. You're going to do your running stitch. So you're just going to go all the way around. Okay going to tighten that up and just kind of smush it around to make it kind of flat. So I have a piece of cinnamon stick and it was about this long and all I did was snap it in you know thirds and I ended up with the piece this length. So all you're going to do is you're going to just stick it right in there and you can hot glue that or you can do whatever you want to get that to stay in there. So what you can do too is you can just push this extra end in here and hide that. And just pull this really tight and then push your little cinnamon stick right in there. I'm going to take my, my end, my needle, and then I'm going to reach down here to the bottom. And I'm going to push it through right here to grab that. Okay, let me take out my little cinnamon stick for a minute. Okay, there we go. So what this will do is it'll pull it down a little bit so it'll give it that pumpkin look. Okay, just like that. So just decide how much you want that to squish in there and still make sure that your stick fits. I like it this way. There you go, that's much better. Okay, so take that out, pull this down, and then you can tie this off. Okay, and then go ahead and put it through a few more times. It's because of the thick yarn. Okay, then I'm not gonna make a knot or anything, I'm just going to let it come out over here 
and that's still got its indent. Okay, like that. I'm just going to cut my yarn. 